Hey guys, Happy New Year's. It is January the 2nd today. You guys won't see this video until probably until I move. But um, I have now decided that I am going to relocate to Atlanta. So this is going to be a new journey. Um, I'll talk about it more in details when I look up the part, but I just wanted to get this on record. I didn't vlog anything from New Year's. I had an amazing time with the JJ and um another friend of mine. It was re really, really nice. I'll pop the photos in or whatever. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Okay, so guys, we are currently helping my dad in the yard. Well, I'm done helping. I'm not helping no more. He knows that I'm not cut out for this man work, so I'm just here watching now. It is now the New Year's. It doesn't feel different at all. Like, it doesn't feel different. But, yeah. Period. Hey guys, we are burning straps and everything else that was left in the home. This is the home that I was partially raised in was the last time I stayed with my father. And it did not look like this while we had it. But, you know, this is just where we are. He moved back also and he's renovating the home to get it back to, you know, the default standards. Everything looks out of whack. He has to paint. And everything this right here was my old room it was white when I left and we bought this house new so none of this looked like this when I was here um it's very nostalgic walking up in here and walking through here I have not been home to this house in seven years I have not I've never seen this house like this this is my first time seeing my room look like this it's a completely different color and everything I'm so scared. His eyes are so big. OMG. Oh. It's not bad. I'm scared as hell though, but it's not bad. So cute and big. OMG. Oh, wow. I feel so young. It's like a puppy. Don't poke yourself. Oh, he likes it. Ooh. <gasps> he likes it. Trying to nibble on my jacket. <laughs> Oh, this is literally me facing a fear, honestly. I'm so cute. Lord, and this looks like some weave. Ugh. Okay, I'm leaving. Uh, ah! I faced the fear. That's all I need. I'm never touching it again. That was the last time. <laughs> the last time.
I'm literally trying to talk to you guys. Okay, so good morning, you guys. I'm trying to get up and get a shower and see what the day is about. <laughs> Hey you guys, okay. I didn't film anything getting ready because I was in a rush like always. But no, we're cute. The bodies with the pants. With the leather. Stack pants and I had heels on. But I changed them to boots. Good morning. It is Monday the 16th and I literally have not been vlogging. I feel like my content is gonna catch up with me because i was literally like 10 videos ahead i don't know i got an email just about something crazy but i'm gonna pop the photos in from the outfits i wore the weekend i only went out twice i didn't go on friday because i was tired and saturday i went out for a split second, and Sunday I went out for a split second. I'm not really a going out person, especially by myself. I literally left all of my jewelry in Mississippi. I left a lot of pieces. So we had to work with what we had with, had with what we had. Let's say that. And we made it work, I guess, I don't know. But yeah. A slight hangover, which I don't understand because I didn't drink that much. I don't know. I think it's probably. I don't know. It's probably the way I mixed it. I don't know. It's definitely the way I mixed that drink. I'm about to take a shower, get all of this off me, freshen up, and I'm gonna come back in and talk to you guys a little bit more. So about last night, honestly, um, it was just. Dudes just like staring at me. And I'm so sorry that I don't be knowing who y'all is. Like, I don't think y'all realize I interact with a lot of people on Instagram and it's nothing personal. Is you know, I just can't remember everybody, like personally. Like, the type of person to always comment on my photos. I do remember people who comment on my photos, like I remember faces. I remember profiles and names. Or whatever if you're consistent but if you're a person that just like sporadically comments or on my posts or something and you come up to me in person be like hey Mari and expect me to know who you are more than likely I'm not if we actually haven't had a conversation so the length of me being here I've posted two photos well I post yeah I posted two photos I posted one in the black I ended up wearing heels. I literally suffered all night wearing it. I had nobody to take my pictures. I'm not really hip to Atlanta sceneries like that. I'm pretty sure I could have found one if I would have drove around, but I'm not gonna do all that. It's cold and it's dangerous to be doing that late at night. And the night was cute or whatever. Like I said, I was cold. And I put myself through it again with the outfit that I wore last night because I was cold again. Going on to college is not my thing. Like, I like to be comfortable in everything that I do. So, I just, you know, and not, not, it's not too much of a big deal because inside the club it's not really that cold. But it's just like, I don't have no tolerance for being extremely cold, like the way it is. I just don't like it. Being pretty goes over everything. So, we're going to have to keep dealing with it. <laughs> I 
guess. I wore the, um, what I wore last night with the green shirt. All of this is actually old. Like, even down to the shoes. The whole outfit is old. Um, I like it. I pieced it together. I got an okay photo. It's within the house. I don't really like inside photos, but I got one. And I upload the photo. So, yeah. That, I just posted that. And we're chilling now. Somebody just reposted my photo on their story. I'll pop those photos in also. I have some extras, a lot of extras for both nights. But I just ended, really did not like any of the photos. And it was because of the background. I really don't like indoor photos at all. I think you should always have a scenery. And it just goes with my aesthetic. Like, And I'm chilling, you know? I'm not really doing nothing. I need to go put some air in my tire and wash my car. But I'm just not really motivated to get out and do anything in this city. The way they drive here is crazy. Like, they can't drive in Memphis either. But up here, it's just a different level of extreme that really just concerns me. But this is now home. I'm going to have to give it the program. My car has been sitting still since I got here. I haven't drove anywhere, but no, I drove Saturday. I drove Saturday. That's the only time I've drove here, though. But nobody knows that, you know, I'm waiting on my transfer to come in with my job. And I brought a good portion of my stuff here. And I'm going back to Mississippi to work the remainder of my days until my transfer is finalized. And then I'm coming back with the rest of my stuff. And I'm going to watch a little YouTube and chill out and get something to eat. Probably go and get something to eat, honestly. I don't know. Or DoorDash. We'll see. But yeah, that's just it. I just uploaded a new video today, too. So, yeah. I'll see you guys in a minute. Hey, guys. <sighs> I have a flat tire. I have to figure out how I'm going to get that fixed. It's Monday. I leave Wednesday. It's just not giving. You know, I just gotta... <sighs> it's holiday, so... Nothing is open, so I can't price anything. They have 24-hour mobile, like, tire places, but they're literally charging me almost $300. For a tire. $300? Damn. And that's just one tire. We're going to have to get it done. I just haven't figured out where. I'm trying to wait till tomorrow till some more things open up so I can call around and get some more numbers before I decide on anything. Let me tell y'all something. The traffic here in Atlanta is like crazy. Like when I tell you, I cannot keep up with this year. There's like, you know how some people would be like courteous and just like kind of like let you come in and get in front of them in traffic. It's not like that in Atlanta. Bitch, they take a spot. They gonna risk it all. But I just uploaded this video today about friends, which I'm a little bit, I was a little bit taken back by it during the time because as I'm now with the move to Atlanta situation, me and my best friend are just not at the, in the best place right now. I don't know. And I don't want him to think I'm throwing shade. But I recorded that video like almost three months ago. So. What did he say? I just dropped it. Oh my gosh. There's a mashup to escapism with Nicki Minaj, Doja Cat, Megan Thee Stallion. Let's hear it. I want to hear Nicki Minaj's part. How would you learn to find leaves now? Sign of the cross on your chest and your head now. Okay, I like it. Let's see. Let's see what Megan's doing. Okay. Before Chirology, I used to wake up. I'm so sick of hearing about Chirology. 
It make it makes me remember think about those proactive commercials that used to be everywhere. Does that shit even work? But yeah, that's basically what's going on, guys. Nothing serious. Um, I'm gonna stay here and do some work on getting the content together, see if I can produce another video at least. I've already started editing two videos, but I'm still filming footage for those, and I need to sit down and actually plan the content for another video. I still have to go back to Mississippi literally Wednesday because I have to be at work Thursday morning. And um, yeah, that's just basically it. That's basically it. I do have another video that I have to edit, but I don't know if I want to post that one. It's a little bit emotional. It's crazy. The stuff that I be going through that y'all don't be knowing about. It's crazy. I don't even know if I'm going to post that video. Like, I went on a huge roller coaster of emotions. OMG. Like, and it's the reason, that's the reason that I moved to Atlanta, but I may release a video. I don't know. I honestly don't know. It's just something about transparency that is just so scary sometimes. Especially with social media. Because it can come back and hunt you. I'm going to give you guys the gist of things of why I moved. Why I chose to move. Why now. Why all of a sudden. That video would tell all. I don't know. That video is. I was crying a lot. I don't know. I'm going to check back in with you guys later. Okay, so I literally had to go and get a new tire because I had a hole in it. I don't know what it is with Atlanta and their um, roads, but it just wasn't given. I've been sitting up there for three hours trying to get a tire changed. I go home tomorrow, so we just going to chill the rest of the day and just see what it's giving. The trip was really chill. Seriously. I'm here now, Pooh. Toast to new beginnings. Honestly. I like it dirty. love that <laughs> these are my kind of people I can't lie let me in this motherfucker good morning you guys it is Wednesday this is the last day of moving in Atlanta Still tired. Well, we see. Cause you tripping. I'm gonna go watch TV. <laughs> I'm gonna go watch TV. Um, it's early enough. Let me promote my YouTube. Oh yeah, I wanna um upload. I don't know if I want to upload the reel or the story. I feel like I'm going to upload the post. The post is going to 